I'm too sexy for the sir. Too sexy for your girl. I'm getting zapped, cunt. Oh, my Why? God. Twice a fucking... That's mm. the start of it. Episode 20. Evan's just been fucking electrocuted. Twice. What a, what a, what a way to start. Are the levels good? We're good? We sounding sexy? Looking sexy? Oh, we always looking sexy. Ah. <laughs> How are you, Ev? Feels weird saying that because I've spent probably the last four hours. Whole with you, so. day with you today. Because <laughs> usually we do this at what nine a.m. something like that. But today, that's a bit early, but yeah. But today we um, what time is it? It's it's almost four thirty on Fucking a Friday. It's so weird. Energy is a bit low, but thankfully I still got some of that pre in me. Yeah, the pre-workout so, is feeling my body. I was shaking. I'm we went shaking. To, <laughs> went to Nando's before this, like we jam on do it. Fucking hell, me. I, was, my I couldn't tum- even eat, bro. My tummy's a little bit sore right now, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I had to excuse myself while we were there. And then once I got home as well, fucking hell. But I am feeling good. Um, usually we recap the week about our crazy weekend. People seem to love that last episode. Yeah, we'll we? have to do that more. Do we gotta, next week will be crazy, crazy well, yeah, recap. And why I bring that up is because, I mean, we didn't do anything this weekend. But, mate, I'm looking at my notes right now and it's I'm seeing just TikTok galore. Oh yeah, I've got a lot. Of, I've got a lot on the notes so today too. That I'm just like, pop, 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 bang, 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 bang. Sp- bang. Speaking of TikTok, mate, we had one that went pretty, pretty booming. Seven hundred k on the on the thing. Yeah, it's like sixty k likes. I think might be more. I haven't checked. More. It's like um, almost eighty. Wow, that's crazy. And yeah, uh, yeah we've we've smashed past the thousand subscribers. So yeah, if Thank you haven't you subscribed, very much. subscribe. Thank um, you very much. A thousand. That's you know. I feel like once you hit a thousand, like on YouTube, once you hit a thousand, you're a partner. Which is cool, but then also once you hit a thousand, I feel like it's all like it's a uh, it's kind of exponential from here. Yeah, like we'll hit ten k in like a couple months, you know. Fuck, dream big, eh? Yeah, dream fucking big. Ten k would be beautiful. Mate, honestly, I said to you in the gym on Thursday, I said you like you were like, I reckon this TikTok's gonna bang, which it did. Yeah. But then I said to you like, kind of, sort of satire, like joking. Oh, definitely I was, joking. I was like. Nah, you were like, oh, we'll hit 30K because we were on 28K or something. Yeah. And I was like, nah, 40, bro. And then you like, you were going upstairs. I was going home and you looked like, looked at me and you were just like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, shut up, cunt. And then like now we're at the 39K. What are we at? Like, 39.1. Yeah. So it's about to hit 40K by Tuesday. That's just crazy. I mean, all we can say is thank you for the support. Um, keep running up the numbers. We've actually, I bumped into someone at Carousel. Then at, today at the gym, someone said... um. Yeah, always come up and say hi. Love your cool. stuff. So yeah, it, that was that was pretty cool. Thanks, yeah, thanks for your support. It means a lot more than uh than you know. Any um brands that want to work with us, we kind of got rejected. So we got rejected by we one, actually, but then we got offered by another one that we didn't want to do for reasons that we won't say. Yeah, couldn't believe we didn't even get the time. We didn't even get a rejection to be honest. We just got seen, which hurts my yeah, hurts my heart. You I know re- what? Don't come to us when we're famous, bro. I reckon they're um, I reckon they'll come back, mate. I reckon. Yeah, of course they will. Everyone's going to be coming back, bro. They know who they are too. Because <laughs> this old fucking clip, people will clip this and send it to them and be like, ha ha. Now look. I hope so. Like, yeah. help the fucking boys out. Um, anyway, Where do you want to start? I think the first thing that we, ha- we have to address, this weekend's massive. Oh, we've okay. Got the, we've yeah, got, yeah. We, have to, we have to talk about this. So, grand final, it's, it's yeah. Friday night right now. So, tomorrow is wake up, it's the grand final in <sighs> Perth. Yes. Unfortunately, we're not going unless, Fuck. no, it's too late anyway for you to give us tickets um then we have i'm djing an event couple boys coming with me and then sunday is big seasons but i think we should start with wow, like norm yeah. smith who we think's going to win Ooh. margin okay so what, who, what do you got uh, okay who i want to win doggies big fan of doggies who i think's going to win melbourne um norm smith I mean, based off of last week, fucking Maxi gone, but um, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, yeah. Um, you know who who my dad said? He reckons Bulldogs and Caleb Daniel. I like it. I was like, that's a big shout. What about you? So I reckon Melbourne will win. I reckon they'll win by twenty four points. Oh, okay, cheeky four goals. But I think that yeah. Bontempelli will win the Norm Smith. Wow. In a losing grand final. Doesn't have to happen too often. That doesn't. Chris Judd did it. Yeah, Chrissy. And I think Bont's just as good. And I think I reckon Bont will kick five goals and maybe have like thirty touches, and um, and he'll win the Norm Smith. We love Bont. He's a big fan of the show. But yeah, D's by twenty four. D's by high scoring game too. Um, yeah, look, I'm just hoping for a good game. Don't really care who wins. Um, good luck to both sides. A few WA boys in there. Quite a few WA boys actually in there. So um, 
Good on them. Jamal and you were going to the game, so yeah, yeah. Hope they have a good time. Better ha- than happy us. for, but at the same time, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone go message Jamal and do and be like, come on, man. Yeah. Nah. So after grand final, we all come from our different areas and we come as one. Yeah. And then we go out, and I think I don't know how tomorrow night's going to be, how big it's going to get, because obviously Sunday is just. I've written that down in the book. Says yeah, no. Yeah. Don't plan anything for the next week because you're fucked, mate. Yeah, seasons is going to be massive. Like, hopefully we see a bunch of you guys there. Come up yeah. to us. I mean, it'd be too late now, but if you ever see us, come up to us. Yeah. We fucking love it. It's good. Although, <laughs> don't know if I'll be taking photos. So, if, if you tried to get a photo with us and we rejected you, it's probably because we're too fucked up. All yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the granny wrapped up. Up the fucking D's. I'm, I'm going for the D's too. So. Up the doggies. I'm going for the doggies. I want the, I want ah, the fuck. doggies to win. Don't like the doggies. Yeah, okay. I like a few of their players, but... It's because they did you a few years back, eh? Yeah, well, they got they got, they ah, got blessed. Good side, mate. Anyway. Yeah, of course. They're, <laughs> they're going to be elite for the next 10 years oh, too. 100%. 100%. Um, um, all right. Well, I, I think I'm just going to pick the pick the first one. Um, I actually don't... don't I, there's so many good ones here. Well, where do we where do we start? If, if there's one thing that I can, uh, actually, I'll, I'll I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up if that's right. okay. This this episode might be all over the place because we just we haven't prepped the order. We just. So I've got on. a story for you. Some people won't believe this story is true. It's not true, but I can 100 percent confirm that this story is true. And you know, if I'm in this bloke situation, I'm heartbroken. I am upset. And I'm fucking furious, right? Those are my three emotions coming out of this story. And I'd I'd love to get your opinion on how you'd react, all right? So this bloke, this is over in like um, Europe somewhere, right? (sighs) Meets meets a beautiful girl, relationship, waiting waiting to to have sex till marriage, okay? You know, personally, I couldn't do that. You would never not, catch me waiting. I'm not a sex addict, but that's a big part of a relationship for myself. Physical touch people here. Yeah. Anyway, so that kicks off. Um, some people, you know, they work their way around that, but some people actually just don't. And they just stick to no, no, no. Maybe a kissy, kissy here You know and there. some people, like, so they won't do, they won't have sex till but, marriage, but they'll do anal yeah, and like... Yeah, because it, does, it doesn't count. That's what I'm saying. They'll work their way around it bruv, with some stupid shit. Come on, yeah. bro. <laughs> if anything, that's worse. <laughs> yeah, come on. Uh, but yeah, they didn't do anything, right? And then it, obviously it comes to marriage day and, um, you know, the wedding's beautiful, ceremony's beautiful and they go to do the goods and um, the wife has a penis. The wife was born with a penis. The family never did anything with, with it, unfortunately. I feel so, so sorry for this woman, but never got anything done as a child. Um, and she was too scared or embarrassed to say anything because obviously they were in love. And yeah, obviously I, c- I can't imagine how I would react to that. You're the love of your life. You've waited for this day for so long. One, to get married because you love her, but two... To finally have that intimate connection as, you know, they proposed it to be. Only to find out that she has the same genitals as you and you are definitely not into that. <laughs> and then just like that, the marriage is over. This story is true. Um, what, what do, do you, you know this person? I do not know uh, them. Um, well, I'm doing what he did. I'm leaving. Disgusting, hey. I, well, How could you do that to a person? I don't think it's disgusting in what it is but it's no, kind of disgusting, disgusting the action of what that person has done to that person that's what i'm yeah. saying yeah that's pretty fucked that is fucked i don't know what i i'd what I, I might Imagine give it a try you, huh? you think you've gone <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck i'll take the cock up the ass <laughs> i'll just give it a little risky or something bro, I <laughs> bro no no imagine oh, just one of the many tiktok girls you love you fall in love get married and then Pick bosh, she's got a penis all right. Speaking of stories, oh, yeah. like I feel like you had a little story time. I'm a, I'm gonna do a little story time. This one's from a fan, so obviously he wants to stay anonymous. But I could not obviously. believe what I was reading. I read this out to my parents too, and they were like, "What the I don't fuck?" Know if I've read this. Um, hey boys, I have a topic of discussion for a video that you guys can talk about. I was hanging out with a guy and was ready to get down to business, aka about to fuck until he mentioned that him and his mates used to help each other by jerking each other off and imagining that it's a girl doing it and he said that it's a really normal thing that guys do and that he's definitely not gay 
I've never bolted so hard in my entire life. Ha ha ha. Just want to hear your thoughts. Blah, blah, blah. So she's essentially saying that guys help each other jerk each other off. So like you'd come over, I'll be like, I'll oh, just imagine it's your, your girl that you like and I'll just sit here giving you a wristy. And she reckon, and this bloke says that's normal. We should try it. Ah. What the fuck, bro? Bruv. I've, I don't not know. Normal. Wh- I don't know one normal. guy that has ever done this. I mean, and if this is a TikTok clip, guys, let us know. Did 100%, he, are 100% you, of making this. Are you clip. jerking your friends off? Like, and imagining that it's women? I think, um, look, I don't have a problem with gay people. Love gay people. You do you. You be who you are. He said he's not gay though. No, hold up. I think he's lying to himself, Ev. Oh, yeah. He's lying to himself. Yeah. Um, I wonder how old look, I'm, I'm not letting you jerk me off. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry I'm, I'm looking so- into your eyes man. I'm thinking oh no <laughs> Bruv I just I don't get I don't understand Oh bro Nah I was going to bring up a, I'm glad that she bolted I was going to bring up An episode of Black Mirror That relates to that But you haven't seen it I might um, have I don't know Fucking no bro That that To that girl who's Who apparently the bloke said It's normal Definitely not normal Yeah I'm glad she ran That's not normal That is not normal And if it is Maybe we're weird What if we're the weird nah, ones No we're not weird Ev Do no. What if we're the weird ones and guys are actually jerking each other off? No, 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 no. Look, you know, we're, we're very good friends, Ev. The people know that. I know that. You know that. And, you know, we hope to improve our relationship as we go on. Who knows how, how that may be. But, won't, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to mention exactly no, what. Yeah, I will. No, no, no. But I'm not, I'm not getting jerked off by you, son. No. <laughs> You're <laughs> not touching my penis, mate. <laughs> All right? Speaking of... Uh you know, helping each other out. Some girl sent in like, what are you doing if you're in a club and three and like a girl is trying to get with both of us or like she's trying to tune both of us. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, ladies, we'll, we'll, we'll take you home. And yeah. Look, if, if she's open for that. Yeah. Um, like at the end of the day. It's a, it's a, yeah. It's whatever, funny. whatever everyone's comfortable with personally. Like, it's funny. It's funny. It's fun. It's a new well, experience. Um, but yeah. That, I'd be more open if you had a friend. And there was like you had another girlfriend, you know. Who sent that in? Some oh fuck, I don't know. I won't expose. Oh, that, yeah, they, they want it anonymous. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's a strange one. Same one that said like, "Can Dylan marry me, please?" Oh, I didn't say that. I was going to respond to her and say, "No, he's married to me." <laughs> <laughs> he's married to the PNC lads. <laughs> married to the PNC gang, gang, gang. Um. Yeah. No. Well, that's crazy. No. Look. That um, story not not normal. We're not jerking each other off. Blokes aren't doing I'm that. Not jerking you off. Threesomes. Fuck it, it's fun. Who gives a fuck? That actually links into the next thing um, I was going to say. Um, there's a, there was, someone sent in a Would You Rather, and we love this game, don't we? Ev? I was going to say we should introduce a, a, a Would You Rather as a, as a new segment. That could be cool. Because I wrote, we, I wrote do down an this, extra one. We do this all the time. Would should we do rathers? it? Should we make it a segment? A Would You Rather segment? Fuck it. Would You Rather segment, that's a new thing. Send in your Would You Rathers every week. If you're enjoying the Would You... We'll post out a separate story for that stuff. But like, um, yeah, Would You Rathers will... Um, I wrote down an extra one from what that person sent in too. Okay. Well, so. This isn't a really a Would You Rather, but this is a Would You. Um, and I'll put this as another TikTok as well so you see what the people have to say. You're a girl for a day. You got a friend who's a virgin. Mm, saw this. You both want to experience certain things. Are you letting your mate smash your back door in? No, nah, that wasn't the would you. It was. It was if you were a girl for a day. Yeah. Would you let your mate smash? Well, why the back door, bro? By back, I'm not saying ass. I'm not meaning ass by oh, that. Well, that. That's what. <laughs> that's what back door is. Um. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. I was gonna say, yeah. Why not? I'm letting my boy smash for sure. Why not? Because I'm. If I was a girl for a day, I'm going to go out and get, get me some anyway. I'd be a sexy bitch too. So I'd be safe and um, look, let my mate have a crack at me unless you're riddled with something I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's only going to be in my you know, pussy that's gone next day anyway. If what? I was a girl for a day, the things that I would try to put in it would be disgusting. Ooh. Bro, if I'm trying to shove like my fist, chairs, legs, feet, no, shoes, no. don't care. Bro, I'm trying everything. I'm not putting my fist in my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no chance brother You don't reckon you would try the All sorts of weird fucking shit bro If you were a girl for one day No I would try a lot of shit But in terms of a fist That's That's a fucking fair Fair chunk to take well, you, would have, you would have a girl's and fist To be a bit your, smaller This is your first um, time Putting something in there Even better No we're not even better mate Brother I'm trying to see What this thing can do 
You know no. what I'm saying? No. I'm doing that, right? No, you're not. I am. You're not. No, nope, I will. I'll do it to <laughs> next week. <laughs> well, I'm getting I'm getting sex changed. Oh, um, my God. There was actually one person who I'm... I don't know if they're in a relationship, but um, there was a question based off of this. is like, if you are in a relationship, um, what... Like, are you allowed to watch porn? Yeah. So, for me personally, yes. Alone, alone. Are you allowed to watch porn alone? Basically, are you going to masturbate watching porn, like, without your partner? Yeah. And I think, like... It is all situational on the relationship. Like at the end of the day, I feel like relationships are all boundaries, right? Like if you both agree that no, you're not, if, if jerking off and watching porn is cheating to both of you, then sure. But for me personally, like I would say no, because I, I like jerking off and I like watching porn. So for me, like. See, I don't, I don't even, I, I'm, I don't even agree with that first, but I think um, it's healthy to have your alone time. And I guarantee you probably everyone, almost everyone in this world would, does that. No. I think a lot of people do. A lot of people would, but not everyone. I think like at the, at the end, like if my girl wants to go fucking finger blast herself or fucking use a dildo like while she's chilling at home watching porn, I don't give a fuck. Exactly right. But if she, ca- if she, if she cares so much about like me, then I would, that's the boundary that's it's respectful. I'm not going to not be with her because she doesn't want that. But say, she also better be putting out. Say though, there are some blokes out there who, um, who can't maybe do multiple rounds in the day. Oh, so... Yeah. You gotta be careful. Yeah. Um, if you toss one off and then your missus might want some want some action a bit later and you can't because you've done that, then that's a conversation to be had. And that's where I agree in that sense. I to be honest, bro, I think relationships are all like down to the people. Bro, if if you think cheating is like if both people can agree if both people agree that like fucking doing anything is unacceptable in the relationship, then that's agreed on. So that's that they're the rules. It's both set by each party. For me personally, if a girl said like, you're, you're, I don't want you to jerk off like it, it, whatever, I'd be like, all right, easy. I won't do it. Or try not to do it. Really? Well, if I'm in love with the girl, bro, what am I going to do? Not like, not stop loving them and not be in a relationship just because of that little thing. Okay. So your, your missus goes away for two months on holiday. Oh no, I'll be telling her. And she goes, no, nah, we've discussed that that's cheating. Yeah, I would. Well, no, I would. But it, like I said, it's all situational because I'm not in the situation, so it's hard to be realistic. I, I think though... Because um, if you were in the situation, then it would feel realistic, wanna, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to judge people too hard, but I think that's a very fucking petty thing to do. Of course it is. Ma- masturbation, that's one of the most normal things in this world. Yeah, and should be more normal. If you're not having sex, you actually need to be doing that because um, I watched the infographic show, um, you know... Not like repl- like getting like new semen into your ejaculation is important for both right. for like prostate health everything yeah. like that. They say if you're not at least doing it once a week, then it's unhealthy for you. Yeah, and like there's natural benefits to having sex as well. And if you don't have sex, you could have repercussions as well. Yeah. So it's like, bro, a hundred percent, right? No, I'm I'm tossing one for off me. If I, want to. I don't care if she wants to, but like I, I understand. It's all. Yeah. I feel if like it's all situational and boundaries. Like each person. Go sort yourself out, future wifey. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. 100%. Bro, you see, like, remember, like Mike, he used to be just playing Warzone, and like Lana would, like Lana Rhodes, for anyone that doesn't know this, she'd just start, she'd masturbate like ten times, yeah. just over and over again, just sitting in the bed, like, just start get the vibrator out. He's just playing Warzone, like, what the fuck is going on? Especially for women, because they have like um, can come multiple times. Yeah, but like they also have, have like different types of orgasms. I feel as well, whether it be like clip based or just like through penetration. So. True. If she's feeling like she wants to get off like, just with her clip. Do, mate, do you? As long as, long as if you're if you're Marcus baiting three times and then you're coming over and you're not fucking like, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. So what's going on here? Yeah, I'd be like, clearly, maybe she just doesn't want to root you at that point. Yeah, like you're just <laughs> not attracted to me anymore. Um, moving on from from that, bro. We got a lot of sex stuff setting because obviously the TikTok was sex related. Yeah. Um, or just quietly, if um, if you send something in, and we don't bring it up, there's probably two reasons. One, it doesn't maybe really resonate with us and it doesn't really link with the show well, so we might not bring it up. Or two, we've already spoken about it. So many times. How many times? Because when a TikTok blows up, we get a bunch of new followers and they'll be like, oh, can you talk about um, <clears throat> guys and girls being best friends? I was like, if you go back three episodes before Even that, it's actually, the TikTok. it's actually the title of um, one of the shows. Yeah. So, yeah. Even they'll be like, "Oh, what's your biggest turn ons?" I'm like, "We've done that, we've done like episode one, mate." Yeah, all these things we've done. So yeah, don't take it as if we're ignoring you. We've just, I mean, forty five minutes to an hour. Um, 
you talk about a lot of stuff. My dad actually said like, oh, do you guys find it hard to like um, come up with stuff to say? I'm like, nah. For us, really. for us, it's not hard, particularly if we're just recapping a week. Yeah. Like, because then it's a lot easier for us because, I mean, last week we did an hour and 10 minute show, but if we already, we spoke for 26 minutes recapping. So we only had to feel, we could have done 15 more minutes of talking about topics and done. People really did love last week's show. Yeah, man. Especially about that recap. Yeah, the recap, people frothed, so and, I guess we'll And just- I, I can say that, mate, for the people out there, the community that we're building, this summer, once uni's over in like a month, we're going to be doing so many things. Oh, yeah, we'll be partying a lot. So, well, the like- stories that you're going to get are going to be top tier. <laughs> yeah, of course. Brought to you first, fucking, you know, free, just here. I'm so excited. So I got, excited. Speaking of controversial and boundaries and shit with relationships, I guess, someone sent in... um. The talking stage. So, like, you know, oh, you're just yeah. talking to someone, text, or, you know, you might have gone on a first date. Um, mm. Should should both parties be loyal in in this pursuit? And I, 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 for me, like, yes. If, like, if, so if I go on a date with a girl. Okay. And then we're done with the date and, like, we agree to a second date. Okay. Then for me, <clears throat> I'm not going to go and talk to other girls, like, in terms of trying to pursue for... I think I feel like if you're going on like a second date, it's kind of like we're trying for a relationship. That's the type of thing. So that if the second date fails, then you can. Bro, it's like a week, bro. Come on, you can just go back to fucking after a week. That's just my opinion. Um, because here's the, here's the reason that I say that. If I'm talking to a girl, we go on a first date. It's really good. We agree to a second date, mm. and then I find out that she has gone and fucked. Someone, else, Someone yeah. I know. Yeah. Then I would be like, "We're done." Yeah. Look, I'm um, unfortunately, I mean, it's maybe not unfortunately. It's just who I am. Quite like an emotional person. It's like I get like maybe not attached real quickly, but like if I really like someone, it's like that'd be pretty tough to take. Not gonna lie. But yeah. at the same time, um, I mean, I've, I'm, I've, I don't know if I want to say it, but I've been like a maybe I've done I've done that where like I've been talking to someone and, and fuck someone yeah every, I feel like everyone has yeah, I've done it but I know that I'm just gonna say it, I know that if she did that and then I found found out I wouldn't be happy yeah exactly but that's a, that's the double standard so but it, I I'm acknowledging that what I did was probably um if she did it it would be wrong. I wouldn't be happy and she had every right to not be happy with me type of thing. Yeah, it's, it's not a double standard because b- both parties do it. Yeah. Girls do it all the time, guys do it all the and time. And I'm agreeing. But like, I, in my opinion, for like the right thing to do is not... If you're going... Like I, I'm not talking texting. Texting's fucking blah, blah, blah. I text people blah, blah, blah. all the time, <laughs> Yeah. you know? Yeah. But if I go on a date with someone and we agree to a second date, yeah, I feel like you don't agree to a second date unless you think... Oh, this could be like relationship thing. But I've learned, mate. You can't assume. You cannot assume. You no, might, you can't. You might think what you're doing with something is one thing and the other person's thinking the complete opposite. Yeah, I guess. You just can't. I've, I feel like you can't let that jeopardize being a good bloke though. No. So that's what I'm saying. But I mean, this is what annoys me with like people these days. And like when I, I like... Me wanting to find someone who's a good communicator. I'd lo- I'd, I feel like you don't have to put a title on everything. You don't need to do that. You no. D- that, that's probably like a bit unhealthy as well. Having like the need to define something, like everything. Yeah, 100%. But be open with the person. I feel like, you just, like I said before, with the the um, having rules and like what is both agreed on by both parties, I feel like talk, like communication is key. We preach it all the time. Yeah. And if you're not, if you don't have boundaries and what is acceptable and what is not acceptable then say you've been on like one or two dates i would love for both parties to be have an open conversation be like, look really like you i've had a lot of fun so far love to see where this goes and, like, I'm, and i'm like i'm putting like my energy towards you even go so far to say like i'm not gonna i'm not talking to anyone else that's like, what that's what i'm saying and then you know if they come back and go look not the same Beauty, you've established your, your lines and you can go your separate ways or whatever it may be. Yeah, 100%. You can make a thing from there. I'd call it quits instant. But yeah, well, that that's fine. That's on you. And some people might not and that's up to them. But unfortunately, I don't think a lot of people our age are um, mature enough to have that conversation. They which don't. sucks. And even some girl brought up like, 
I didn't write it down in my notes, but like just come off my head. She, she said, um, like, why do, why do some guys shy away from communication when they're like having sex or something? A lot, like if you, if a girl tries to bring up sex, why do guys shy away from it? I'm like, for us, for, for me anyway, it's a complete opposite. It's like girls shy away from it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't tell me, oh, you're rubbing the fuck. You're not rubbing my clit. Oh, my bad. I'll let me move my finger up We've a little spoke, bit. We've spoken about this 100% in previous episodes where yeah. like I've said like, oh, what do you want me to do? Mm. And they're, they're gobsmacked. They're like, yeah. No one's ever said that before because a lot of guys out there just, just fuck. They just yeah, fuck. Yeah, they fuck it. They fuck for their 15 seconds and nut and then yeah, they, they go. Yeah, they just fuck. And it was actually a chick commented on our TikTok that I was like, oh yeah, um, she's used you as an object just like men do. And actually I said, I was like... Um, Generalization. I was like, talk about general, generalization. Who hurt you? But a lot of a lot of guys do do that. Yeah, but also a lot of girls do a that. A lot of a lot of like, like that said, girl probably did. A lot of girls do do that. Like someone said, like oh they put a pillow over your face to like think about their ex. Probably you, did that. You know what? I couldn't care less. Yeah, because it was just a one time thing. Yeah, and um, you know, I think everybody's done that. I think yeah, everybody's well, thought everyone's about. Everyone's definitely imagined someone else. I think sure. everybody's thought about um someone else so and you know what i don't care no bro why would you care you're there to nut she's there to come bro if she um so she broke up with someone she got a heartbroken two weeks ago and she's still in love with that person and and she wants to ride your chopper man and she (laughs) and she she goes and she goes look not gonna lie love this bloke and i want to imagine that you're him i'd be like all right (laughs) yeah what's what's his name i'll respond i've got no (laughs) Oh, oh, Sullivan. She's like, oh, Jackson. And I'm like, Sullivan. yeah, would you like that shit, Susan? Like, <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Not Susan. <laughs> no, I'm glad we're on the same page there. Right. Let, <laughs> let's fuck off from the sex topics because uh, I, I got a good one. I think this right. might work on TikTok. Right. Not sure. Um, so, you know, we all, we all sit in our room with our door closed and we watch our TV or we play in our games <laughs> or, you're on your, or you're on your phone, right? How frustrating is it when you're in your room and your parents come in your room or your brother or someone, they come in your room, they open the door mm-hmm. and they'll talk to you and then they'll leave and they won't shut the door. And you're left there with a half open door, sometimes with the light on. Yeah. Mostly. Fucking, fucking infuriating. I'm oh. sorry to cut you off this. Fucking infuriating. But my parents have actually gotten a lot better at Same. That. Because like, fuck, I used to just crack it. Same, I used to go bananas, <laughs> I'd mate. I'd be like, how fucking hard is it? A bit of, you know, I feel like it's um, it's manners as well. Yeah. You know how you've got table manners? This is room manners. If you're coming into my room, my space, I only have, you know, this is your house. And I've, I've been blessed with my room. This is my sacred space. So please just shut the door. I'm about to jerk off. Shut the door. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> you know, I always thought back in the day, like, imagine, um, imagine if like your mum goes, oh, Timmy. It's four thirty. You know what time it is. <laughs> but like it was normal yeah. to jerk off like, to your off parents. You go. go sort yourself out, son. Like my mum, I'm colouring in. Imagine your mum. No, no, go sort yourself out. But imagine your mum's stressed in the house, and you're just like, you haven't fingered yourself today, have you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> go in your room, come back in fifteen minutes when you're a bit more happy. You know, like yeah. imagine if that was like the normal conversation. And then she, she comes out, she's like, <sighs> "Oh, Sullivan, you were right, mate. You were right. I feel fucking ten times better. What do you want for dinner, Red Rooster?" Imagine you send you send your dad a, a link to porn. You go, fuck, this one was good. I jerked <laughs> off this last night. Like, imagine that, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, that would be insane. I'm making that a TikTok that's as gonna, well. That's going to bang, for that sure. That would be fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> you, oh, you dad, did it. how good was fucking Lana Rhodes' asshole? <laughs> You've got, like, everybody has a family group chat. Imagine you're just linking stuff in. It's like, oh, dad, fucking look at this, mate. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, wasn't there a story where... Um, you guys have got like a um, group chat over like iMessage and um, you, you were like, um, oh, hey guys, can I, you sent a message to the group, family group chat and you were like, oh, hey guys, why don't I have some boys over tonight because your parents were going out and your dad responds and goes, oh yeah, all good mate, just don't tell your fucking mum. <laughs> he fucking thought that you just messaged him personally. Yeah. Oh, bro, I cry when that. Oh, I don't know what the problem people up. with technology. I love it because oh, they don't know how it works. So fucking funny. Um, <laughs> so I guess with the would you rather segment that we're gonna add, mm. I've got two that people, some people sent in. So the first one that someone sent in, the other one I made up with. So the first one they sent in was, um, would you rather be mauled to death by a bear or have a ninety-year-old man swing an axe at the back of your head? 
And I have an easy answer for this one. And think about a 90-year-old man swinging an axe. i got more chance of surviving that, bro. The guy could probably pull a shoulder or something yeah. on the swing, you know? Like. Poor bastard won't be able, be able to get it up. Um, yeah. It, what, the, the axe or? The, Both, probably. The cock. Yeah. Give, him a, give him a viggy. Both, probably, yeah. Um, yeah, look, I, I find that quite strange, not going to lie. Not, not the best, would you rather? I'm not, I'm not surviving the air attack, in my opinion. There's very little chance of me. Sw- Have you seen The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm. That cunt got mauled, bro. He was lucky, fucking. Well, you seen Khab- Khabib out wrestled a yeah. bear, and I'd out wrestle Khabib easily. So, hundred um, percent. I reckon I'm taking Who's on a Khabib? bear. Oh, he's some nobody wrestler. Like he's average. He's actually a big fan of the show, mate. Yeah, I'll we'll still smoke that loser. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this was one I come up. It's pretty generic. Feel like everyone's heard it before. Would you rather have no arms or no legs? We've answered this before. But, like no together. Arms. Really? Yeah. Why? Because um, you just do so much with your legs, and I know I just do so much with my arms. But I feel like um, I feel like in the future, especially even now, I'll be able to get like robotic arms slash hands. That but you but you can already get robotic fake legs. Yes, but you can't kick a fucking. You can't do your natural like kick kick your footy. But think about everything you do with your hands, bro. I know. Like I'm talking like everything that you like, because your legs, all all your legs do is walk you around. That's a fuck. That's the probably the biggest facet so of your life. Basically, live in a wheelchair or never be able to do anything because you no, can't do anything. I will be able to. You can't use your phone. Can't play PlayStation. Can't watch TV. You can't. I couldn't DJ. You can't play pool. You can't yeah. probably can't play pool without legs either. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, it's a hard one. It's not nah, as easy. I'm going legs. I I'd, I'd want to keep my legs. I think I'd get rid of my legs, bro. Nah. Because I can push myself in a wheelchair. I, I want to move, bro. I want to move. You can move in a wheelchair and then get prosthetic legs. Not the way I can move with these beautiful long legs of mine. Yeah, but what are you going to do with that? Yeah, they haven't, they haven't perfected fake they hands haven't, yet. They haven't, but you can, get, you can get things. Bro. You can get a hook arm. No, no. You can get a fucking... Bionic if finger. you're rich enough, you can get what you need. Where you're... you're Sponsor us, PNC where lads. We need to be rich because we're your gonna brain lose our links arms. to your fucking hands, and you can do stuff. I'm not to the point where, I, like, I'm picking up this fucking little bit of fluff. Now you can probably do that. Um, just like not to the point where you can maneuver your fingers as fucking like that. No, you could probably do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, bro, you could probably do it rapid. You reckon you could program the arm? Remember the Big, Big Bang Theory episode? And he jerked off? And he gets his stuck on the... Right, but imagine if you could get your fingers to move at like 100 yeah. RPMs or something. It was like... Yeah. Shit, bitch just was done. I'm sure there's going to be like robot cocks in the future as well. There already, there's blow up balloon cocks. So you press a button and, you, and it gets hard and then you deflate it. They use it in porn well, already. That's like, no, that's just a fucking penis pump. No, like I prom- I'll show you a video after this. Okay. It's literally a robot dick. Um, Why? Wow. Okay. So yeah, that was my would you rather for this one. Well, yeah, so, yeah, no, I'd get rid of get rid of my arms. I'm, I'm definitely getting rid of my legs. You know what you could do if you did that? You could get fucking like the big legs you've always wanted. True, it would make me six five instead of six three. Yeah, fucking see your legs. <laughs> 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 it made me six five instead of six three. <laughs> yeah, we are six three. Uh, that's a good one. You know what I was thinking the other day. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of older people do this and uh, personally, I see these people as psychopaths. People who um, relax in their home in a pair of jeans. I think jeans are one of the most uncomfortable things that you can wear. Yeah, They I are agree. very fashionable, I agree. great to wear out. But my dad, per se, will put on a pair of jeans and sit on the couch on a Sunday morning. But I, and I'm thinking, Jimothy, what is going on here? <laughs> I feel like like older people don't really own. No, they own track pants, mate. They definitely no, track do. pants, sure. And but they, they own don't some shorts as well. Yeah, but they don't have shorts like what you and I are wearing. Fucking, you know what I'm shorts. saying? Because their, their shorts are like denim, fucking past knee shorts, mate. Maybe not your dad because he's six fucking twelve. <laughs> um, so like he's short. He could get fucking. He could wear three quarter pants and that'd be short shorts. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no. like, I feel like for mo- like for most like my dad doesn't have fucking these shorts. He has some sports shorts for working yeah. out, but other than that, no. Nah. Mate, I think um like as soon as I say I'm at uni and I'm wearing jeans, as soon as I get home, bang, those are coming off. Mate, I don't even wear jeans to uni. Neither do I. I literally wear this what I'm wearing right now. To I wear either like these types of shorts or I wear the um my like what are they called? Those type of 
fashionable track pants that we wear these days. Cargo, cargo pants. Oh, cargo sh- pants, yeah. Love me some cargo pants. Yeah, I think those people are fucking psychopaths, mate. Not going to lie. I, I feel like hate, if they're older, it's fine. But like wearing, if you're a young person, I hate weird. casually wearing jeans and relaxing in the house. By the way, if anyone's like getting, I've headbutted this about seven How times in my chin. Yeah. Oh, I fucking headbutted the mirror at the gym yesterday. I was squatting that first squat rack upstairs, and um, you know how that's got the crate with all the stuff in there. <laughs> um, I <laughs> went to go fall. get. I went to go get a clip, and obviously, you know. It looks like you've got a lot more room than you do. And I'm going, <laughs> doing oh, that actually fucking hurt, bro. And I'm pretty sure some fucking person saw that. I should oh, have done that right. Though. Imagine if the mirror shattered, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that would be so embarrassing, cunt. But this episode feels like it's been all over the place. But like... It definitely has. It just feels a bit rushed. High energy. Yeah, well, I mean, we've it's late. And it, it is late, but also there wasn't a lot of structure to our week. That has just gone. We didn't do anything. That's what I'm saying. We did mm. not... Because we've been... It's like Super Saiyan. I'm fucking... I'm building. Should I get cancelled? I thought you were going to say cancer. I was like, what the fuck, bro? You thought I said what? Cancer. Should I oh, get cancer? cancer? I was like, what the fuck Well, are you here's one that's going to get me a bit of hate. Oh, my God. Um, girls called? who believe in crystals and star signs. Oh, yeah. They are fruitcakes, mate. They fruit have cakes. no idea what is going on in the real world. You know what? You know what? I will say this though. Okay. As blokes, you need to know what your star sign is and you need to know a little bit about what your star sign means because every single woman on the planet believes in this shit. And it's like, if you don't know a little bit, because that's the what that's the first thing they, what's your star sign? I'm like, what? I don't fucking know. It's definitely a current thing, yeah, but not back in the day. Um, what do you reckon? You reckon they're weird or two? I've, got, I've got an opinion here. Similar to religion... I feel like religion gives um, people maybe a sense of um, peace of mind. So, say like, it it gets rid of their f- fear of dying because they know they're going to like a better place with their loved ones, right, after. So, if you think that these star signs are your f- form of like, it's your type of truth, you know what? Have that. But don't be the type of shit people that we see who are going on about the star signs where they go... Oh my god, I'm such a fucking Virgo. Or oh, you're definitely a Cancer. Bro, you? the thing is that they don't force it on people. No, but they live. I don't even. Get, they live their. It's the same with religion. Some people are too far with it. Like they live their life literally based on the star signs. Ooh. And I'm telling you right now, you can Google any star sign you want, and it'll have qualities. And it like, will apply so to everyone. Yeah. If yeah. you, I don't, I don't even know what you are. Do you know what you are? Yeah, I'm a cancer. Okay, so if I Google cancer, like a cancer, <laughs> not just cancer, if I Google cancer star sign, yeah. you know what it'll tell me if I want it to be positive? It'll be like hardworking, loves his friends. Oh. Everyone fucking loves their friends. Don't say, don't say your birthday. Don't say it. Unfortunately, I just said what star sign I am. Tell us in the comments for the females watching oh, what, you, what, what you star are. signs you reckon Evan is. And what star sign you reckon I am based of our personalities? I yeah. think that'd be fun. I reckon you'll all get it wrong. I ah, fuck knows what you are. Um, I'm an Aquarius, but I'll mute, mute both yours and mine so they don't know yet. Okay. I think that'd be fun, mate. But I swear to God, bro. Like my mum, um, my mum reads like, uh, like her fucking magazines and stuff. And it usually has like the weekly horoscopes and shit like that. And so I'll be in the living room and she'll be like, Dylan, very interesting what they're saying about your star sign this week. And I'll be like, oh. Watch, like, oh, so, something will happen to you in good, good in your job this week. You should be like, just watch out for that. That's what I'm and saying. And I'm just bro. like, but you know what? I'm just like, for my mum, I'm just like, yeah, you know what, whatever. But I, I, I always find it like, oh, that's interesting type of thing. Like, I don't mind it. Yeah. But there's, bro, people who live your, you, when you live your life based on a fucking something that's not even real, and then you're also basing your, like, like your bro, because you know how they have moods like for each start. So it's like today is going to be a good day for you. People will be like, today's a good day. Yeah. If it says, oh, you're going to lose your best friend today, yeah. they or they're like, oh, I'm going to lose a best friend today. They might <laughs> yeah. have an argument with their friend, and they'll be like, this is the friend that's gone. <laughs> it's like you fuck with. Yeah. Idiot, bro. And it's the same with like you compared it to religion, bro. It the same thing. If you if you live your life to a that. fucking fruitcake, bro, I don't give a fuck. Cancel me. Religion's huge though. Oh no, I, I'm all for like people believing in your religion, but Religion's when you are going so far, you're forcing people on it, and you're fucking living your life. Yeah, don't I think the most important thing, do not force people on it. You can live your life in um 
through religion. I think that's fine because people do a lot of good. Religion is probably better than the star sign, at least like. Hundred oh, percent. You can't compare them. I only yeah. compared them in the fact that it gives them peace of mind. That's what I was... Because, like, I guess to. religion is, like, you're trying to go to heaven, right? So, you're trying to be a good person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, people do a lot of good through... Reli- but then, obviously, some people do a lot of bad. The biggest wars in the history of the world have Based been over religion. religion. Yeah. Um, yeah, but look, on a... Um, I wanted to bring this up because this was heavily... Okay, I don't... It's heavily relevant at the moment. And I think a lot of people are culprits out there and they don't sort of... Um, are you right, mate? They um a lot of people don't maybe think of this. If you are trying to talk to someone on social media, I'm talking Instagram here. If you're trying to talk to someone on social media, Instagram, and slide into their DMs, do not expect much if you have a private account. It's like me walking in the street, someone comes up to me with a paper bag on their fucking face. Nah, it's worse than that. I don't know who you are. I, uh, d- I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. I, I don't even know if you're 18 plus. I don't know where you live. Can I... Can I that's all... If you're not 18, we're not going to respond to you, just so you know. Like in terms... If you're trying to like slide in. Yeah. So... And I'm saying this for if you're trying to slide into anyone else or just anyone. Yeah, of course. If, of you're, course. if you're trying to talk to anyone, I would not say... Don't expect... I'd say... I would say... Do not expect much if your account is private Facts. because people love to stalk people but also like it's very rare that you would talk to a stranger if you don't know anything about them or don't even know what they look like it's like applying for a job online without sending a resume in yeah it's like uh why are we doing this right now I don't it's like know. oh my name's evan that's nice what do you want who are you what do you look like yeah yeah exactly right exactly right and then i like, say like oh um, oh yeah, I live in Uzbekistan. Oh sweet! Yeah. Wish I found that out forty-five messages ago. Yeah, facts. Because this isn't gonna work. Is or it? coming full circle, I have a penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever it may be, if you've got a private ac- private account, I love private accounts. My account used to be private. Just for this, it's probably not not um, recommended for what we're trying to do. But yeah, um, if, if you're, you're trying to account, s- you're trying to slide yeah, in, if you're if you're trying it's to slide, gonna it's never gonna work. Like I'd break it to you, and also. Uh, I won't say that one. Oh, well, 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 I'd love to know what you're going to say. Nah, it's not that bad. It's just <laughs> dumb. It'll get me hate for no reason. Okay. Um, How long have you been going, by the way? 42 minutes. Good okay. time. Yeah. Um, I was actually at uh, university, yes, uh, not yesterday, th- this week. I can't remember what day. I didn't go again. Uh, really? Mm. Fuck, that's not good. Man. Nah, it's not, eh? Um, I was at uni and um, I had a three-hour class and... Um, I go on, this is just dead. I'm not enjoying this. So I went to the toilet and um, I went for a number two. I take, uh, you know, I place the toilet paper down on the toilet seat so I'm nice and hygienic. And um, as I sit down, someone walks in and I go, please just go for a piss. Please just go for a oh, piss. Oh, no, they didn't sit down for shit. And they sit down. Ah. And I know that the cubicle right next to me and I've not released my poo yet. And I don't know what it is about my character per se, but I get so self-conscious and so like nervous and in my head about releasing the poo from my anus when someone is sitting right next to me. Just the noise that it makes. It hears the... <laughs> nah, I'm chilling, man. Water. I don't... Bro, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even lying to you. I sat there for a good like five, six minutes until he got up and left. And I, then I released my shit. I actually saw a funny TikTok. So there was a TikTok. It was like these girls, girls don't shit. So it must have just been satire. But like they were both sitting. So like one of them, it was a skit. One of them was sitting in the cubicle, like shitting or well, had to shit, right? But someone, some other girl walked in, same situation that you just had. They ended up both just sitting there like, like waiting for each other to fucking shit because the other one didn't want to like yeah. do it. And I'm like, uh, like, not for me. I don't really give a fuck. I'll just shit. Difference is like, this guy fucking exploded as soon as he sat down. Yes. Yeah, so surely that gave you some confidence. Nah, you know what he did? You know, this is where I time my poos. If someone's in the toilet, hand dry goes off. I fucking explode as soon as that comes up. Maybe if someone um, opens the door because it makes that creaking noise and then there's a bit of conversation, bang, do it then. Maybe if the water's running, something like that, and it's a bit noisy. I try and sneak it. Have you ever seen Peter Griffin where he goes, yeah. tries to cover his farts with a cough? Yeah, so no. fails miserably. Bro, I feel like it doesn't work, what you're saying. 
where like you wait for another noise. You know when we're in an Uber. If it's very loud, it does work. Nah, it does. No, it does. You, you if think someone it does. flushes the toilet, no, okay, that will that, that's away. what I'm saying. They but, don't hear it because no, sometimes it's not a shotgun. No, I'm talking about if you like a fart, bro. You're shitting and you fart, like, bro. Who are gonna know? Oh yeah. You know when we get in an Uber too often, and you get in, and you're not allowed drinks in the Uber, but oh, we have these cans yeah, and we yeah. always try to do some dumb noise while we open our can, and it yeah. normally goes like this. Like someone will be like, ah. And then like click, yeah. but then the can will, like they'll they'll miss time and they'll open the can like yeah. at the end of the noise and it's like oh shit. Nah, man. I swear the decibel fucking volume just skyrockets with the opening of the can. Doesn't matter. You could it's like hack up. <laughs> you could hack up a whole lung, mate, and that Uber driver is still gonna hear you opening your can. Man, everyone can fucking hear it, but you still feel like you got away with it. Like, yeah, fuck, man. and then they go pull over, <laughs> and they put it out. And I left the drink in the car. Well, I don't know why they went Russian. That's when um remember when I tried to eat my chips. Like we're leaving home <laughs> at that one time. And he's like, no eating in the car. He's like, yeah, old good brother. And then I can't remember. I think I like scruffled the bag. I was eating my chips. He's like, out the fucking thing now. Otherwise you're out. I'm like, fuck. And I was going to like fake put it out. But then I was Ooh, definitely getting kicked out of that. Yeah, room. I was like, just get rid of it. Cunt. Yeah, like, we gotta I was go. so pissed off though. I had my beautiful hot chips from like the kebab shop. Yeah. Not happy. Not happy at so all. I think wrapping up, I guess Ubers, they use petrol. Great segment here, right? <laughs> People... Requesting money for petrol, like fuel money. I have a big, big, big opinion on this one. Okay. Should I give my little opinion then you go? You can. Yeah. All right. So, um, once again, all situational. For me right now, say if your car was out of service, right, for the week. We work two days a week. Not great money. If your car was out of service for the week and we're working full time, you go, deal. can you uh, take me to work? No worries, mate. I'm not asking you for fuel money. I'm not doing that. But if it starts to get maybe three weeks, a month, I'm like, mate, you getting your car sorted or what? Well, and got- especially if you live like like 15 minutes away from me, something like that, I'm like, come on, mate. This is just like a bit of common courtesy there maybe. Especially because we're not earning great money. Yeah. Do you want me to get my opinions on this? Go for it. Uh, I'd love to know if you sim- like, I, I agree. agree with me. Um, so here... There's there's different situations for this. Any road trip, I think fuel should be split even. Yeah. So what a good way to do it is the person fuels up their car full, whoever's driving, they pay for their petrol like so that it's full. Then you leave. Whatever petrol you use on the whole trip, it's split evenly between everyone who's in the car. That's the best. Like if you're driving a Calberry and it takes you two tanks and it, that's 160 bucks, each person pays whatever it is, right? So that's for long road trips. When you and I, you and I went to Alicia Brockwell's thing, I think I paid for you to fill yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. As soon as we went before. Yeah. So, or I think you might have bought KFC. Whatever it is. But even even that, I don't. Re- that's not really a road trip, you know. Like, it cost me like thirty dollars in petrol because my car is late. Yeah. Um, it's just generous thing to do, type of thing. But I think, like you said, with the work thing, I think if you don't have a car, mm. then paying petrol money. I'm not a fucking taxi. Yeah, exactly right. So if I don't have, if you don't have a car, yeah. and I'm driving you to school every day, and yeah. I'm taking you to wh- whenever we wherever we go, I'm always driving because you genuinely don't have a car, you don't have a license. Yeah. You should be paying petrol money. Yeah, no, I agree. Because I'm not a fucking taxi, right? Particularly if you live out of the ways. Um, but if uh, also I will say, if you are going somewhere regardless, so for example, I'm driving to the city tonight. Yeah. I go, boys, I'm going to the city you want to come with. And then I ask you for petrol money. You should feel slighted. Yeah. Because I'm already going to the city regardless of if you come. Yeah. Plus, it's going to cost me, what, $20 in petrol? Maybe as a 17-year-old, oh, you might anymore, ask yeah. maybe for some petrol money. But as a 21-year-old, bro, come on. You shouldn't be asking for fucking 10 bucks, man. You know when I was dead as fuck in the, in, in the city? I was like paralyzed. Like spiked. I was in Freo. Oh, when I picked you up. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, like, it's like, if you were like, oh, bro, you reckon you can send me like 30 bucks? I'd be like, are you serious, yeah. cunt? Like, yeah, I, but I wasn't even, go- I was sleeping. Yeah. But like, and like, but even still, it's just like, bro, come bro, on, man. You're like, my mate and I was doing you a favor. Yeah, yeah, I'll drive <laughs> you like next time or, you know, like, if nah. it's, if someone's driving all the time, 24-7, yeah. and like, you're not getting any, like, there's no back and forth type thing. And they're not, and they're going out of their way to drive you. Yeah. Then I think fuel money is a is a thing. But if you're just, bro, come on, like Braden's the best for it, right? Yeah. He'll, he'll be like, oh, I can, I'm, I can drive you to the city if you want, like easy. Mm. Yeah. You never ask for money. 
No. I think, bro, if you're a fucking decent person, you'll get this right. And the if you need to pay for your money, you'll you'll catch on. If you don't need to pay for your money, you'll catch on. It's pretty fucking it's common sense for me, really. Yeah. If I have to if I think I, I have to pay you for your money, we'll probably be in the same mindset. If I feel like I don't have to pay you for your money, we'll probably th- think the same thing as well. I feel like as well, like uh, yeah, like you say, you shouldn't know. But like there's certain situations where I shouldn't have to ask for the fuel money. No. You know what I'm saying? No. It's like if we drive to fucking Bustleton and back. I shouldn't have to be like, oh, boys, you reckon you can like yeah. swing me like 30 bucks for the fuel? Like, come yeah. on, bro. Just fucking pay me my money. Yeah. you can, or Because you feel like a bit of a shit kind of Just be like, oh, like by the way, dog. how much was the petrol, bro? Like, yeah. plus the wear and tear on the car. Like, bro, come on. Just. And also, service fee. If you're doing something for someone, if you're, forget about petrol. I'm having a great time. I can have a nap in the car. I can fucking go on my phone in the car. You have to be focused for fucking two, three hours and take me to, to the destination we're going. You're doing a fucking... It's a big W for myself if I'm not driving. Oh, 100%. You're doing me a favor even though we're going to the same spot, you're doing me a favor. So I'll give you petrol money. I think we've gone on quite a lot on that yeah. topic. No, bro, I was passionate about it. Some chick sent it in and I was like, no, that's a fucking big topic. I feel like it's massive for like 17, 18 year olds. I feel like it might be a little bit different when you're younger. But yeah, if you don't have a car, you should be paying fuel money. If you're getting driven around everywhere, they're not a fucking taxi. They're not a chauffeur. I uh, I do thoroughly agree. I think that could wrap up the potty. What are we on? Fifty minutes. Fifty-two minutes. I think that's great. Ev. I think I think there's a lot of entertaining stuff in today's episode. Sorry if it felt all over the place. Um, it's been a sort of a dead week, but also kind of a hectic week. Like we're a bit all over the place. But um, yep. Hopefully you did enjoy that. Sort of a bit of everything, but fuck, that must have got your... If you were tired, you weren't tired after listening to this. I feel, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm more tired after talking about it, trying I, to think, you, you know? My, my skull feels all over the place. That's I, what I'm saying. I'm trying to think so much about these opinions because we disagreed on a couple of things, though, so yeah, you have to debate. Can I just say, I, I know I've been so motivated with the gym, 100% the pre has had a massive effect on me. Oh, yeah, I've told you. I haven't had it for so long and this isn't affecting my heart as much as the last one was. Yeah, it's good. Give me fucking heart palpitations. Nah, honestly, um, so I had, I've got like three pre-workouts. Motivation. I had ABE, uh, like, you know, the Red Bull one? Yeah. Was that the one that fucked you up? No, I can't remember. No, I had a, I think I had a pre-workout that I was taking. Because that one c- fucked me up, bro. Because my, my heart was like skipping a beat and then it would like double beat, like super rapid. Like it was just fully fucking me And then well, keeping me up for hours The ABE one I had Like genuinely fucked me up bro Like I had it Not yesterday Day before And I was like Holy fuck Like this yeah. one's Like the one that The one that you've got now The one that I'm taking as well Recent like Constantly That was way better though I can't it's see my favourite pre so. I can't see me changing from that They got better flavours too Or different flavours Yeah um, But like bro Because it's also like placebo effect Where it's like I'm fucked, right? And usually if I'm fucked, like I might have like been a little bitch and fucking not gone or something like that. Mm. But now it's like, fuck, I'm fucked. But I've had a fucking fantastic week of working out and I know that fantastic week was fucking, you know, that was led by me taking pre. So I take a scoop, half a scoop, I'll be fucking up. I'm going to have a killer sesh. You know the scene in Wolf of Wall Street where, um, so like he's hell fucked up. He's in the loop stage after taking all those hectic loads. Yeah. And he's like, he's driving the car back. He gets back to the house and then he's dead. And then Donnie's dying. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like trying to find Put that down Coke. The phone. He's like getting, the, he gets the Coke and he's like, <laughs> yeah, that puts it in his nose. That's yeah. how I feel with pre-workout when I'm like dead as fuck dead, after yeah. a day of work. I'm like, go to the gym. <laughs> I'm like, give me that pre. I'm like laying in bed. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, no, I will. I put my hand up, shame me, throw shame my way. Um, I was being a bitch. Nah, it is what it is. You're probably better off from not being on it. Oh, 100% now. It's horrible for you. <laughs> it's not, it's it's, not that bad for you. It's, it's not that great for you. It's though. just a, It's just like you become reliant on caffeine. It's like anything. Yeah. Um, but like you I'm know, reliant on I'm, for sure. Like I said, I'm not I'm not about to change. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I've been I've been thoroughly loving it. Yeah. Loving life. Anyway. Well. Pick an emoji. Let me just look at my notes for a second. I've had two messages that I need to respond to, but fuck it. Um, should we use the... Hmm. Long weekend. Um, what do we got? Oh, let's do let's do the sunset reason. for for the seasons. Beautiful weather. Oh, okay. Well, that's well, true. Yeah. The sunset emoji. <laughs> All right, sunset emoji. Send that. And once again, with the emoji, we love seeing the emoji. 
Give us feedback, please. Yeah, we love the feedback. Constructive feedback. What you liked about the show and why. What you didn't like about the show and why. Oh, yeah. And any clothing brands or any... Br- Fuck, I've headbutted it again. Any brands and stuff that want to send us some stuff or promote it. I don't know. Yeah. Send us some shit, bro. Well, look, we're wearing the same stuff on these on these episodes because we just don't have enough clothing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, man, man doesn't have 20 outfits, bro, you know? Come on. And even if we do, that's only going to last me 20 episodes. Yeah, like we're done, bro. We need a yeah. new wardrobe, so we need some new shirts. Any any brands that want some promo? Send it our way. The engagement's nuts. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Yep. Pushing on 2K follow now. Follow us on Instagram. TikTok. Oh, fuck it. Go follow us on Twitter. That's... PNC lads everywhere. Yeah, basically. Follow the personals. If you D- if you need a DJ, hit me up. Summer's coming. Lots yeah. of parties, day parties, boat parties. Pull through with the boys. It's gonna be lit. I hope the video's still going. By the way, fuck. Nah, it's going for sure. All right. I don't know if Sh- I started it. Nah. Should we say see you later? I, I feel like we could sit here and talk. I feel like I just want to talk to him. I need to poo again. <laughs> You're a joke, hey? Okay. It's the pre-workout. My tummy doesn't feel good. Dude's got a shit. We're done. <laughs> Episode twenty in the books. See you later. Bye. Oh, who? Oh, Brett Glenn's get the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs>